fact, uh, I was asked by the New York Times to give my uh, uh, list of the ten best films I'd seen in 1970, and I did. And uh, they were they began with the cabinet of Dr. Caligari, and they went to the Birth of a Nation, and uh, so forth and so on. And uh, the only uh, current film was uh, D. Antonio's Year of the Pig about the Vietnam War, which still is almost two years old. Anyway, the point is it was a joke, you see. Oh, I understand. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I really haven't seen anything. I've seen M.A.S.H., I've seen Five Easy Pieces, I've seen, uh, what else? Uh, but anyway, I didn't like them, but, well, for various reasons. Ah, uh, the best film. Um, the, I, it was hard to choose five, uh, ten best this year. I chose five instead of ten. You know, we have What a, were the five yeah, you chose? Well, one was Five Easy Pieces, which I, which even though it won an Oscar, I still think it's a good movie. I mean, has been nominated you for You feel Oscar. the Oscar's almost a deprecation? <laughs> uh, you kind of you have to defend it more after that. I, I, I see. Don't know. Uh, WUSA, I was one of three people in the world that liked it. And uh, 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 Lovers and Other Strangers. And uh, I also chose Fantasia, even though it was made in 1939, because uh, I, just, I hadn't seen it until last year, so I thought it was one of the best movies I've seen. Uh, not that I have a preference to the, for the underground film, only that uh, I consider that the most important work today is done by the independent filmmakers. Uh, what was the best of, of the, their work last year? Uh, really, some of the best work done in this country during last uh, year will be shown at this festival. Uh, uh, and that is uh, Stan Brackage's film, Eyes, which was shot in Pittsburgh, uh, for this. Uh, uh, Horace Frampton's film Nostalgia, Bruce Bailey's Quick Billy. Uh, there were several uh, films that were of sort of equal excellence, but uh, none uh, that really I thought stood out above the others, far above the others. Uh, I guess Five Easy Pieces was about as good as I came. Do you think then it was really not a very exciting year for film? No, I don't think so. I think it was an off year. Last year, Five Easy Pieces, Ingmar Bergman's The Passion of Anna, I thought was an extraordinary film. Again, a very personal film. Bergman uh, uses film as psychoanalysis, sort of self-psychotherapy, I think. And he gets it all out on film in a quite extraordinary way. Um, I admired Scott's performance in Patton. Uh, I liked Women in Love quite a good deal. Uh, I thought Woodstock was probably one of the most enduring social documents out of the year. You're going to get me in trouble already. 1970. I think the two pictures were very good in 1970. What were they? Uh, one was uh, one you haven't seen here by Rod Lane called... Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of not just American films, any films, The Rise of Louis XIV, uh, which uh, has only been shown, I think, in L.A. and New York. And the other we may have seen his performance by uh, Nick Rogue and uh, Don Campbell. Why do you name these two as, well, as the best? Well, uh, it's easier to get into performance because people may have seen it. Uh, Rosalini's film gets back to a very sort of old aesthetic that he's been working on for years and years. And since people probably don't see it. Performance, I don't know whether performance came out here or not. It hasn't done. Um, yes, it is. Yeah, so it was a very controversial film. People in L.A. and on San Francisco and the, and the West are sort of bugs about it because, I, well, they, I mean, they think it's the film of the future, and of course, people in L.A. think L.A. is the city of the future, so that just sort of figures in. Uh, what about last year's films, 1970? What was the best film of last year, in your opinion? That's, a, that's an absolutely and utterly absurd question, in is my it? opinion. I, I, as, as I see film, that to think of what the best film of the year is to engender an attitude towards films which is really destructive to the art of the cinema.